My name is William Mills. My name is Ramsey Termanini. I'm Dennis Hernandez. I'm 19 years old. William Mills. And Damara Mills. Michael Williams. And I play for J. Petro Academy. And I'm currently in Honduras working towards my dream of becoming a professional soccer player. I play for the J. Petro Academy. We discovered J. Petrov when actually Andrew played against <laughs> the team before he actually joined. Mm -hmm. So we noticed that it might be a good fit when we moved to the area since we were moving at that time and see what it was going to bring. I was born here in Michigan um, and my mom decided uh, I should go back to Damascus and um, that's where I grew up. Uh, a couple of years later, she decided uh, I should come back here to, for me to pursue my dream of playing college soccer. I discovered J. Petro Academy um, in my freshman year of high started playing here around 2018 and ever since then it's been something that I've loved to be a part of. I played at Jay Petrov for five years and I can tell you that Joko along with the rest of the coaches are the best coaches that you can have as a player. They will push you physically and mentally like they did with me and my teammates. of talking to the players themselves with the staff talking to the players and getting them prepared mentally and physically in terms of okay if you're going to go to this college level these are the things that you need to have these are the tools that you need to bring to be able to compete on that level and be successful we really really enjoyed the training aspect of yes. it the conditioning was great you can't beat that um, the travel that he uh, experience doing his play here. Um, his soccer IQ has increased since he's been here. So we overall, we, we really love the club based on uh, what the, 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 um, the, the, the progress that he's made in, in, in the soccer, uh, from the soccer aspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, watching him grow as a player from five year span and the opportunities he's gotten from going out of the country to going to different states and competing with different groups. It's really grown him as a player. You can't beat this area, I believe, in terms of training and getting in shape, getting the mental aspect of it. I think as a player, if you want to see growth in a player, then J. Patrol is where you want to be. Yeah. And, and actually, it is a tough program, to, to, but that's the, that's the beauty of it. That's the good part about it. If you have aspirations to move up on and to, level, and, and to the next level and play, then this is where you really want to be. J. Petrov, I've learned so many valuable lessons on and off the field. I feel like Joko has prepared me for the next level that I'm going to uh, start playing. This is definitely a club that I'll never forget because I've had so many experiences here that have prepared me. I mean, not only as a player, but as a person outside, Joko teaches us a lot of lessons. Um, we can apply anywhere in life. Uh, should come and try out because you will really develop here. Um, I've only been here for a year and already I noticed the character and my playing has drastically improved. Linux been tremendous and the see players uh, develop uh, this place will get you to a college well, he's good and like I said like you're always one of the academies especially down at Disney that we try to catch at least two games of one thing that the, the Academy there that you guys have done you do a great job um, from top to bottom in terms of communication with coaches being available for our questions about players um, and then you know holding the players accountable when coaches are trying to get a hold of them and you know again it's each individual. The Petrov team is kind of showcased down in Florida as well as when they come up north uh, in New Jersey uh, a couple of times. Um, you know, I think we're always looking for guys that you know, are technically sound and have um, 
you know, good tactical understanding of the game. And that's been the case pretty much across the board from players that we've been able to see from the club. Really looking forward, the guys that separate themselves um, are ones that are great thinkers, problem solvers, communicators, um, kind of some of those intangibles um, that are harder to see up front um, and that are also very hard to coach. Um, you know, it takes years to develop those types of of skills um, and so finding guys that are already good in those areas are, I know that our guys that are going to be more coachable um, that are going to grow faster um, in, in our program once we get them. A couple of uh, Jay Petrov guys at the college level and um, in my experience those guys have been uniquely mentally tough um, which was a really really big asset for those guys you know they were able to deal with adversity um, they were able to deal with tough coaching um, and understanding that when a coach is being hard on you that it's not personal that it's he's trying to make you better um, of course talent um, you know those guys are very talented and um, you know good on the ball and all that kind of stuff but, but I think the separator has been more on the mental side being being mentally tough and able to, to you know just withstand some adversity yeah, um, every time that I've been to an event that there's been a that Jay Petrov has been at, I, I've made a, an effort to be there. Watch a, a Jay Petrov um, team play; it's always going to be, you know, kind of like this is the standard, and if we're not meeting it, we're we're not happy about it. You know, like we're we're we we clearly understand what we're trying to do here. It's not very individualistic. There's good individuals on the team, but um, you, there's there's clearly like a mindset of this is how we do things, and um, so that level of comfortability I think really really helps. It make, it draws me to want to come back and, and watch them play more because um, you know that's what we're looking. To build at the college level too. It's